All right, here's an update on 5656 Spring Street. Start out here with the exterior. Um, right now, um, got to replace a few window panes. And a lot of these uh, these windows have to be reglazed. All this stuff up in here has to be removed and replaced so that the windows are sealed good. Uh, you can see over here where some of that glazing has been removed and that has to be replaced so that's on the way uh, the plumbing is about done he's gonna wait until we're done to kind of come back and fill in the gaps there I'll come in on the inside so that's gonna be fixed not worry about it now here are some stains that, that we tried. I don't remember the names of all of them, but the final decision is gonna keep the floors natural and just put some uh, this polyurethane on it, semi-gloss. I'm gonna do two or three coats of that. Coming over here, see the floors have been sanded. Um, noticing a few things. One, there's a big gap in the floor. That's got to be fixed. So, the tile has been laid and cabinets have been hung. The issue I have is, why in the heck did he not run the, uh, the tile all the way to the wall? Cause he was working on a tile before the cabinets got here. So I don't understand why would you cut out a spot for cabinetry instead of just running the tile all the way across the floor. That baffles me. Um, but that's got to be, it has to be discussed. You know, it doesn't make sense to me, but maybe there's something I don't know. You got this gap here against the wall, which I don't understand that either. Another gap. So that has me not as excited as I should be. The tile itself, I feel like is a good selection. Uh, it's affordable, it looks good. Um, actually looks good on the walls. Uh, but again, it's got a gap up here. I'm like, okay, when you saw that tile had that gap, why didn't you adjust the cut? I'm pretty sure that, okay, maybe the wall is uneven, but hey, adjust the saw one degree, two degrees, and do another cut. So that hole was filled in there. Um, so this was a linen closet here uh, that has now been switched and put to make this an official bedroom, even though it's a small closet, you now have a closet over here. All right, you can at least put stuff out of the way. Uh, other than that, I kind of measured this room. You can fit a queen bed over here. A king, I feel like I make the room too crowded. Um, still has to put that new hardwood there on the floor. So one head ran tile into the now washroom. Looks fine. Gaps again will be addressed. One we'll bigger bedroom over here. Well, looks good. See, you know, floor, floor has been sanded now. So, it's good to go. So, we're gonna make our way over to the other side. So, we're getting some of the lighting in. Going black faucets in the bathrooms. So here, haha, -ha, we got two cedar posts that I'm gonna put out front. 
gonna wrap them at the top and bottom uh, and these long cedar boards which are going to be used to make cedar shutters shouldn't be too hard to do cross your fingers all right and again same thing over here with the tile as i explained over there not sure why it wasn't run all the way to the uh, wall nonetheless will be discussed cabinets hung Again, still got a feeling that's where the floor vent was from the furnace under the house, but we've run HVAC through the whole unit now. So uh, it's been boarded up with uh, some uh, plywood, I guess, and then you're gonna put the new hardwood down. Yeah, this bathroom is done. Again, you know, gap at the top. shall be addressed and yeah, that's about it quick update you know progress you know got doorknobs in now not a whole lot has been done in my opinion <clears throat> but, uh, still here still working Polyurethane for the floors. Excited about these cedar posts though. Can't wait to see how that turns out.